Hello everyone, today, today I am injured. I don't know what's happened, but something has happened to my wrist. I can't bend it without it being really painful. So I'm wearing this thing that basically keeps it straight so I can't bend it. I don't know what's happened, but yeah, that's why I'm wearing that. Hello, I hope you're all good. Today I am gonna be filming, today I'm gonna be filming a makeup challenge. I have not done a makeup challenge in so long. And it's also an original idea, like I came up with this myself. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I thought it might be a bit of fun. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Well, I haven't actually said yet, have I? I haven't even said what it is. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I ordered a full face of makeup with my phone in black and white mode. So I couldn't see any of the colors and is that a good idea? Like I'm saying it now and I'm like, is that a good video idea? Well, we're doing it anyway. I did have a look to see if anyone had filmed this video before and I'm pretty sure no one has done this exact thing. However, I did find someone who filmed something quite similar, but they did a custom eyeshadow palette with a black and white filter. So again, they didn't know the shades. So it's kind of like the same concept. So I am gonna leave her video linked down below. So this is the box with my mystery order in it. I'm gonna open it in a sec. Um, it is from Revolution like I did the order on the Revolution website because I just felt like they had a good selection of different things. They've got a lot of different shades, a lot of different colors. So we could end up with all sorts. I know my last video was also Revolution. I didn't realize these were gonna end up next to each other, but never mind. So yeah, that's where I got it from. And I guess I better open it and see what we've got. Before I start, I need to insert the clip from a few weeks ago when I made my order. Okay, so I've changed my phone to black and white. Why does it look brown on the camera? I promise it is in black and white, as you can see. Is that just me or does that look really weird? Okay, anyway, black and white. I need to choose a foundation. I don't actually know which one I'm gonna go for. I kind of want to go for products that I've never tried before, so it's kind of like a testing video as well. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one because I've never tried it before and it's something a bit different for me. The Makeup Obsession Quick Stick Foundation. So now I've got to go to select your shade and this is gonna be the fun part. I feel like this is easy though, like foundation is easy. It's gonna be the other products that are difficult when they're just like weird shade names. I'm gonna have no clue but this is quite easy because it's done like one two three four five yeah this is the easy part do i want a foundation to match me when i'm tanned or when i'm not tanned i mean i'm not tanned right now to be fair I probably ain't gonna be tanned for a while because i've got bored of tanning i can't be bothered anymore so i think i'm gonna go for my natural skin tone which let's be real it's gonna be light one. It's gonna be the lightest shade, isn't it? Like, yeah, 100%. So I'm gonna go for light one, add to bag. That's foundation done. <laughs> that was the easy part. So yeah, for foundation, I've got the Makeup Obsession Quick Stick Foundation in the shade L01. Luckily, I remembered to not be tanned for this video. Could you imagine if I had fake tan on? This would look ridiculous. But yeah, hopefully this is gonna match me. I hope so. Oh, oh. Yeah, I feel like that might be all right. That looks like a good shade. Like I said, this is kind of the easy part. It's definitely gonna be the eyeshadow and the lipstick and stuff like that. That's gonna be a lot more interesting to see what we get. How much do I need? I feel like I'm putting quite a lot on here, but never mind. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna blend it out with my giant sponge. Like, hang on a minute. Why is it like 500 times bigger than normal? It's blending out nicely, but it is definitely very pale. <laughs> Okay, I think that's all blended out. I look unwell, like I actually look ill where the foundation is so light. I could have gone with the next shade up or maybe two shades up. This has given me serious old school Sophie vibes. Like I used to always have the absolute lightest foundation going. That, that is my foundation done. As for the product, it was okay, but definitely not my new favorite. So for concealer, I've gone for the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer. So we need to go select your shade. Ooh, these ones are done in shade names instead of numbers. So I feel like this is a little bit more difficult. It also doesn't look like it's in order from light to dark because custard looks darker than oat. Buttermilk looks very light. Is that a white? Oh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> okay. So toss up between buttermilk, oat, sesame, maybe a bit of custard. Oh, I don't know. I feel like the rest will be too dark. So it's definitely out of the first four. Should we go with buttermilk and just have a really light concealer? To be fair, 
I'm very pale. I'm gonna go for buttermilk. It's going in the basket. I'm gonna go for that one. Hopefully it's not too light. So yeah, add to bag. So yeah, for concealer, I got the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer in the shade Buttermilk, which was the lightest one, I think. Yeah, I think I got the lightest one again. It doesn't look too bad, actually. I feel like this will probably be a good shade. Oh, <gasps> that is the best applicator I've ever seen in my life. It's in the shape of a love heart. That is so cute. Can you see it? Let me put it against my hair. Look how cute that is. Why does it smell like Malibu and Coke, like the alcohol? Coconut extract, well, that makes sense. That is a really nice smell for a concealer and it looks cute, so so far, I'm very happy with it. Right, let's see if the shade is the right one. I feel like, I feel like that's pretty spot on. Like it matches the foundation pretty well. The consistency is really thin, like it feels like it's almost a bit runny and it's really hard to like get a decent amount out. So I ain't sure of that, let me just blend it in. I feel like it was just a really light coverage concealer and it barely did anything. It was just a bit of a weird formula, so I ain't too sure of that. So for powder, I've gone for the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. Okay, please have some decent shade names. That is quite good. Ivory, warm ivory, beige. Okay, that's pretty easy. This is probably the easiest one yet. I'm probably just gonna go for ivory because that sounds like it's probably the lightest one. Although warm ivory looks lighter. Cool maple looks even lighter. What do I want? Oh, I don't know now. I thought they were in order, but again, I don't think they're in order from light to dark. <gasps> There's a translucent right at the end. Oh no, that'll be cheating. Let's not get translucent. I'm gonna go for ivory. I'm just gonna grab that in my basket, done. So yeah, I got the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Pressed Powder in the shade Ivory. It's kind of like white, like that is the palest powder I've seen in a long time. This is not gonna help the situation, is it? But I'm gonna have to use it. Goodness, I swear if the bronzer looks like this as well, then we're screwed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my brush and just, oh wait, got quite a lot of creases. I really like that powder. It's definitely mattified my skin nicely. It's kind of added a little bit more coverage maybe. I don't know. I feel like so far everything's been really kind of light coverage, but that's just kind of added a little something. It's done the job. I'd say that's a really good powder. I'm happy with that. So for bronzer, I've gone for the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer. And there's not many shades to pick from. There's one, two, three, four, five shades. So this should be quite easy, but it's not gonna be easy because I'm not gonna be able to tell if it's like a really warm bronzer, a really cool toned bronzer. It's just all gray, but I'm gonna probably go for the lightest one, which is in the shade Bahia. It's out of the first three, but yeah, normally I'd have probably picked one that's like not too warm, but like a little bit of warmth to it, but I just can't see. <gasps> Why am I getting so stressed? It's only meant to be a bit of fun. <laughs> For some reason, something's telling me that the first one is like a really cool toned one and the second one is like a warm toned one. I don't know why, but that's just what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go for the second one in the shade Baleo. I can't even say it, I shouldn't have picked that one. I can't even say it. Right, add to bag, it's going in. <laughs> for a second, I thought that said bald. I thought the shade name was bald and I was like, that is just a weird name for a shade for a bronzer, but it's actually in the shade Baleo? I don't know. This is the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer. And hopefully I can bronze up this face because, oh my goodness, it needs it more than ever. <laughs> Let's see the grand reveal. Is it gonna be a good shade? Oh, I think that's a good shade. Oh, is it? Oh wait, oh, I don't know. In person it looks good, but in the camera it looks quite orange. That's gonna be too dark, isn't it? It's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Not like a sore wrist. That's not funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the tiniest little bit and I'm gonna try and do a bit of contour with it. That has gone so much better than I thought it was going to. Like it isn't a super pigmented bronzer and I much prefer bronzers like that because then you don't make mis mis makes a mistake whilst trying to say the word mistake. <laughs> Because then you don't make mistakes and I really like that. It's just like a nice subtle bit of bronzer. It's maybe a little bit orange like I thought, but as a bronzer, I like this. Like, I really like this. 
So for blush, I've got a bunch of their Blusher Reloaded blushes and they just have random shade names. I have no idea what these are going to look like. Don't they all look identical? Like you can't even tell which ones are light and which ones are dark. Honestly, they all look exactly the same. Okay, apart from the one at the end, you can kind of tell that that's a bit darker. Baked Peach. Okay, so far Baked Peach is winning. Peaches and Cream. Oh, that's cute. Pop my cherry. Oh, I think I'm going to go for Baked Peach. That was the one that stood out to me first. Add to bag, it's going in. <laughs> so yeah, for blush, I've got the Revolution Blusher Reloaded and I went for Baked Peach. Oh yeah, I went for Baked Peach because it sounded like a nice name, didn't I? I remember now. Um, it's upside down right now, so I haven't actually seen the shade yet, but I'm thinking it's just gonna be a nice kind of natural peachy color. Oh. Yeah, that is a lot darker than I was expecting and a completely different shade to what I was expecting. Like, I was just expecting like a peach colour. It's not peach. So I'm just going to take the tiniest little bit on my brush, even that's too much. What is that? Okay, I think I fixed it. I've just patted it with my sponge a little bit and I think... It looks quite nice now. Yeah, I definitely would not have gone for that shade if I could see the color, but that is the fun of the challenge. I like, that's the whole point of it. I'm thinking now maybe this is a good idea after all. <laughs> if you think this is a good video idea, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Does my voice want to get any croakier? No. <laughs> So for highlighter, I've gone for the Revolution Pro Luster Highlighter. Look how cute that looks. Even in black and white, she's looking cute. Like it's a little flower in the packaging. Very excited. So yeah, we've only got four shades to pick from. If we were going by shade names, I'd probably go for rose gold because I love a bit of rose gold. But I think white rose is probably going to be the best for my skin tone. Like that definitely sounds like it's going to be the lightest one. So I'm going to go for white rose. Add to bag. So yeah, for highlighter, we've got the Revolution Pro Luster Highlighter and I went for the shade White Rose. This one's got nice glittery packaging. If I remember rightly, this looked nice. Like even in black and white, this looked so pretty. I've just realized I keep calling it black and white, but that's not the correct term for it. The correct term is grayscale, I think. I completely forgot to say that, but I feel like everyone calls it black and white, don't they? That is so pretty. It's like a little flower and the shade looks really nice. It's like, it's kind of like a champagne-y color with a hint of pink in it maybe. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that. That's a big brush, isn't it? Oh well. I'm gonna take a bit of that and whoa. <sighs> Is it me or is it doing absolutely nothing? Maybe it's one of those ones that you've got to kind of scrape it a bit to get it off. There we go. Okay, I've got a little bit now. Ooh, that looks so pretty. I like this. As you could probably tell, I'm really happy with it. It looks so nice. So I really like that. I really liked these um, Revolution, is it the Revolution Pro products? Yeah, these ones in the little square packages. So far, I've really liked them. So for eyebrows, I've gone for the Fast Brow Pen Pomade because that sounds interesting. I've never tried it before. And they've got five different shades. I feel like this is going to be really easy. Yeah, um, this is really easy. I feel like this bit's kind of pointless, but I'm just going to go for medium brown. Or do I want dark brown? I'm going to go for medium brown. <laughs> so indecisive. It's a joke. So yeah, for eyebrows, I've got the Revolution Fast Brow Pomade and I went for the shade Medium Brown. Um, it says it's a clickable pomade pen. Okay, I've never tried a pomade pen before, so maybe this will be interesting after all. Oh, nice bit of rose gold. And then the applicator. I was not expecting that. So it's like a little brush applicator in this weird little shape. I don't know how well you guys can see, but that is weird. And then I'm guessing you, you click it and then the product is gonna come out of it. <gasps> there she is. <gasps> oh, oh, I now don't really know what I'm doing with this. Do I just whack it straight on? I guess so. I put way too much on. Like I, yeah, I messed up. I really messed up. Also, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go away and try and fix this as best I can and try and do the other one. Yeah, wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Okay, I take back what I said. I actually quite like this. When I did my other eyebrow and I made sure I had way less product, like I didn't click it as much, it was good. It was really easy to use. I feel like it's a decent eyebrow. This one, a little bit heavy maybe because obviously I did way too much, but I actually quite like this. I feel like it's a good way of doing your eyebrows if you want to do them quick. Wait, wasn't it called Fast Brow? <laughs> yeah, Fast Brow Pomade. I like this. I think I'm probably going to use it more often. 
Okay, so for eyeshadow, they have these color book eyeshadow palettes. So I'm guessing they're like an entire palette based on one color. I feel like that would be the most fun thing to do because I have no idea what color palette I'm gonna get. And they are named by numbers. Like they're not named by the colors at all. So I'm completely clueless. Like. I have no idea what shades these are gonna be, but yeah, I'm very in the dark here. I have no idea what to go for. I'm just gonna pick completely at random and I'm just gonna go for, I think I'm gonna go for five because it looks like it has the most variety of like dark and light shades. I don't know. I have no idea what this is gonna be. I'm going for palette number five, <laughs> add to bag. I wonder what that's gonna be. Could be, it could be anything. I feel like this is the bit I'm most excited about because I could literally have any coloured eyeshadow palette here. I could have warm toned, cool toned, bright, neutral, light, dark, like it could literally be anything. I have, I don't know. I don't know what it is yet because it's in this packaging. Like I've avoided looking at it, although I'm seeing some green. Oh no, okay. It's a green palette. I'm gonna look like grass. So yeah, this is Revolution's Colour Book Shadow Palette. Turns out it's the green one. Well, I think so. Or maybe a bit of green and a bit of blue. I feel like out of all the colours, the one I would want the least would have been green. Let's have a look at the palette. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's literally just all green and blue. Okay, I was not expecting that. I thought that this was the palette and then this was a mirror and it was reflecting onto it. That's not a mirror. That's another set of eyeshadows. Okay, so on this side, you've got all of the mattes and then on this side, you've got the same shades, but in shimmer format. <sighs> okay, we've got the option of green or blue. I think I might go for blue. <sighs> This is gonna be difficult. Like, I do not know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start off on the matte side and I'm gonna take a bit of this light blue just to start me off. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with a bit of this slightly darker blue here. Well, it's quite a lot darker. This darker blue here just to kind of like deepen it up a bit, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna take a bit of this one as well, just cause that wasn't quite as dark as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, this is definitely gonna need some blending out at some point. Um, but first, I think I might do a cut crease. Shall I do that? I haven't tried that in a while. Let's try a cut crease. So I'm now gonna flip over to the like shimmery side and I have no idea what I'm doing. I think, or is that gonna be too similar to what I've already got on? Maybe this one, like the really light one. I think I'm gonna start off with that. I'm gonna take this really light. It's almost like a silvery color with a tinge of blue in it. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and pop that over the concealer. I'm now just gonna take this brush again and just kind of add a little bit into the corner just to kind of like soften the cut crease a little bit. I'm also just gonna run a little bit of this one underneath. I don't know what to do with the edges. I feel like they need blending out, but I'm scared I'm just gonna mess it up because I feel like right now that part looks quite even. They look like the same, don't they? Kind of. And I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up, but I know that it does kind of need blending out. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> this is the only other clean, fluffy eyeshadow brush that I've got. Eyeshadow? Eyeshadow brush that I've got and it's huge. Like that, no, that's gonna mess it up. I don't know. I'll just sort of like dab the edges a bit. There we go, blended it out. Is that all right? It's far from perfect, but I don't think it looks too bad. Also, those eyeshadows were so good, like blended out really nicely, zero fallout. Like I thought after all of that, there'd be a lot of fallout. So the only thing that I didn't pick for this challenge was a mascara, because I realized there was absolutely no point. There was probably just gonna be one shade. So I am just gonna go and do my mascara quickly and then I'll be back and we can see what lipstick I've got. Oh my goodness. So for lipstick, I've gone for the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. And let's have a look at the shades. I mean, I'm pretty clueless here. I can see what's light and what's dark, obviously, but I don't know if these are pink, purple, nude, and they could be any color. Like I have no idea. Um, I think I'm just gonna pick the one that has the nicest shade name. And I'm not gonna lie, Deluna is kind of jumping out at me, obviously, but that looks dark. Oh, Dream sounds quite nice. Dream. 
I feel like that would be like a nice pretty colour. I'm gonna go for Deluna and just hope it's like a nice dark nude colour because yeah, I like that shade name the most. Add to bag. Whee! Okay. Throughout this whole video, I've seen this because obviously when I've been rummaging for the products, I've seen this. I thought that was the packaging. Like I didn't look too closely. That's the lip color. That is really dark. So it's kind of like a dark brownie color, I'd say. Um, this is the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. And like I said, it's in the shade Deluna. Oh, that was probably the best sounding one we've had. And I didn't do it up against the mic. Oh, you missed out. That was glorious. I mean, you probably still heard it. So it's kind of like a dark brown with a slight purpley tinge to it. I don't think this is gonna go with the eyeshadow, is it? I can't get over how stinky it is. Like that is it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, that is what it looks like. It's just a really dark brown lipstick and I don't think it really goes with the blue. I don't know. I don't think it does. This is it. This is my finished look. This is what happened when I chose a full face of makeup without being able to see the colours. What do you think? Let me know what you think of my look down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye from me and my dodgy hand. <laughs>